Hi Libra, welcome to your after the retrograde forecast for couples. Oops. Actually flipped out. Mm. You're thinking about changing your job because you're already having a hard time continuing whatever you have right now or whatever you've been doing right now. Anyway, uh, please take note that this is a general forecast and uh, it doesn't actually resonate to all the levers out there. You know, I was supposed to finish all the videos the other day, but then when I was about to record a video of Libra three times that it stopped after three seconds so I said okay could maybe that's a sign of something that I have to stop for a little while so I just decided to let another day pass before I record it so let's see if this time it's if it's gonna stop again all right Libra I will be using four different spreads this time and um uh yeah and uh the other one is um where do you stand right now or how do you see each other and then um the hurt feelings or the hurt spread and then where do you go from here and the bottom line all right let's take a look first at how do you see each other all right and then how do you hurt each other Well, Libra, you're happy. Financially stable as well, your partner. But then... Oh, what's with your decision? Hmm... You know, Libra, the thing here is... I don't see any problem in your current relationship right now. In fact, that the two of you are actually doing well. Plus, you know, um, plus both of you are doing well in your jobs, in your profession, finances. But this is also where the problem is coming from because you're both busy. There is no communications. There's no contacts. You know, that's like the two of you are just housemates. You don't talk anymore. You don't really sit down and ask how, you know, how's the day of each other and uh, what's the news, what's new, and stuff like that. Yada, yada, yada. So how do you hurt each other? Alright. Libra, from your side, you're very disappointed about how your relationship is going right now. Alright. And your partner keeps on traveling as well. Traveling most of the time. Until that both of you are already looking or desiring for a change. Well, looking good. You know? I don't see any problem at this point. Libra, you are celebrating a much well, well-kept well success. And I feel like um, you're very happy with how your life is going. Now, please take note that this is a general reading. I know that some Libras are suffering from their work but some Libras are you know celebrating their work altogether so if it, if dep it depends if you are the type of Libra who belongs to this reading or please check your moon rising okay now Libra at this point it's like you cannot really ask for anything anymore when it comes to your job or when it comes to your profession but when it comes to your relationship it seems like the communication and the passion had already died down and uh, you just can't really seem to find for a solution because you're already tired of thinking of how you can still you know bridge the communications between the two of you how could you still come up with a solution patch things up because yes both of you are very successful successful busy with your work you know you can't really ex you can't really complain and until that you are you know it's you who wants to make a decision well, your partner is also financially stable, and in fact, that uh, they just received a promotion or they just received a new job offer, something like that, that will be requiring more travel and, uh, you know, and uh, I feel like they're going to be going miles, you know, 
will be reaching a lot of distances and they are also in the position of an authority so most likely that is also the reason why they are so busy now you want to look for more changes you want for you know you want for the situation to change you want more bonding chemistry connection just like how you used to be before because you know you've been busy with your works before but then you still make time for each other but now it's like your whole life already evolved when it comes to when it comes to you know to your work to your dreams to your goals to your targets but unfortunately those things are no longer your dreams those things are just mostly you know his dreams or your dreams his or her okay and then you have you know it's like you have grown apart instead of working as a team and supporting each other it's like yes you've made each other successful and you're living a very good life you're leading a uh, you know a very um you know successful career but then you feel so empty as you see as i've said that you're the one who is feeling a little bit nostalgic okay because you're looking back into the past it's like you are the one who's aware that your relationship is already crumbling down and there is no direction all right now your your partner is too focused in making money you could be that they are also in the you know in a business because uh they're in the position of a leader or they're in the position of an authority so I feel like at this point, they're also taking care of uh, their own business and their own finances. And, you know, at this point, they're very deluded with their own success and they don't really care about anything else in their life anymore. Especially you. So you have tried for how many years? You have tried for how many months or for long to swallow this, to accept this, that, you know, it's not enough reason for you to file for a divorce. It's not enough reason for you to separate. You know, just because the two of you doesn't have any more time to each other. But then, both of you feel so stuck in this relationship. There is no movement. There is no development, progress, moving forward. And because your partner keeps on traveling... Or your partner keeps on, you know, going back and forth into different cities or different countries or always absent. You just wanted it to be over. You just want to feel the love, the, the happiness, you know, the bliss. And at least somebody to hug you. Because, you know, your money cannot hug you and keep you warm in the middle of the day. Or sorry, at the end of the day. And, you know, well, you can buy your furnace for that, but... Uh, you know, you're looking for love. You're looking for somebody that will always be there for you when you feel so down. When you had a very long day. When you want to cuddle. When you want somebody to comfort you. When you want, you know, someone to at least know how is your day. And, uh, you know, if you're tired. If it's just more than that. Now, the thing here is, if you have a child... Most likely that uh, you don't want your child to suffer. But then your partner is just mostly concentrated. You know, it's like you cannot really blame them for, because for how many months or for how many years that they have struggled to be successful or they have struggled to be known, you know, in their field. And by the time that this is their main break or this is where they are finding more room, you know, to grow and become more popular. They feel like you are trying to stand in the way because you're insecure. Instead of thinking that, you know, they are already being irresponsible and they are neglecting their own relationship or marriage. They somehow think that you are just envious or jealous of their own success, which is really obnoxious. So, I still feel like there's still silver lining to this. Okay? 
It's like your partner will somehow understand where you're coming from, and it will also make them realize that when was the last time that you've had sex? When was the last time that you've held each other? When was the last time that you go out on a date, go on a trip, and make each other happy like nothing else matters? Okay? So, I feel like your partner will still be fixing this problem of yours. Good for you. Now, how do you hurt each other? With a frequent travel and with a frequent absence of your partner, this is what actually disappoints you because you somehow feel like you're not really with anybody. Yes, financially, materially, you're okay, you're doing fine, you're doing good. But then, not even a shadow of your partner, you know, whenever you, especially during the times that you need them. It's always on the phone. Or it's like you always have to make an appointment just to talk to them or just to vent out, you know. It's like you miss the person that you once loved before or that you have married before. Now you're wishing for some things to alleviate, to uplift, to move. And if not, then you just want to take a different path. Your partner, on the other hand, will somehow realize all of this and there will be some changes. They are the one who will be making some changes. They will also try to make time for you. And I feel like there will be conversation. There will be some communications. There will be some discussions. The two of you will sit down, lay down all your cards, and will be fully expressing whatever it is that's been bothering you. And there will be some changes. Now, let's take a look at your... Where do you go from here? And the bottom line. This is the main problem in your relationship. What causes your problems? Still, it's like the two of you needs to make some sacrifice and needs to, you know, have a, a little bit of patience and consideration. What you've forgotten to express, what you've forgotten to respect, your solution, and both of your aims. So, Good thing here is the two of you will still be working things out even though there will be very small opportunities and of course, you know, Judy calls and you will somehow feel that you're still important in the life of your partner, that it's not really that bad or it's not really that they've already forgotten about you. So you will, you know, all of those angst and all of those cobwebs inside your head will also be fading away. This is you. This is your partner. Yeah, because most of the time you feel so alone. Well, your partner is not going to let you go. Now, here's the thing. You've been so busy, okay? You have to try and understand that for the past few years that you have struggled as well to reach the top and to reach wherever you are right now. And it's like you cannot really blame your partner if they are too conscious about the financial security because they don't want to suffer that kind of life or that kind of path anymore. And they both of you have worked so hard to reach the top. But for you, your family and your marriage is much more important than money. Now... Somebody needs to make a sacrifice or somebody needs to, which is your partner, okay? They're very busy making money. I don't see any third party, which is, that's the good news. But they are very, it's like, for them, they're just taking advantage of the opportunity that it is coming. All the blessings that they are very thankful. All the, uh, you know, the people that's been coming into their doorstep and uh, offering, um, offering their, uh, offering opportunities, Okay, or offering business. And it's good. You know, life is good. But what you have forgotten to express is that you 
should make time for each other. There are some things that is far more important than money and money can't buy happiness. Your partner somehow needs some, you know, like a wake-up call. This is the reason why you want to leave. This is the reason why you want to pack your clothes, you know, get your suitcase and uh, leave the next morning. I just I feel like this is, you know, what's going to be hitting your your partner that, yeah, you know, it's been a while, you know, it's been a while that we had a great time, that we spent some time, that we traveled together, you know, like uh, that we had dinner like a family, you know. So your partner will somehow understand and see this through and there will be a major breakthrough and major changes that's going to be coming your way. Now, you don't really have to act a little bit defensive, okay? And I feel like there will be a brand new opportunity that's going to be coming your way. They show you that you just need to sit back, relax, and, you know, wait for them to, um, to find a way. Now, this is you. This is your partner. Right now, you want to leave. Right now, you just want to walk away and, you know, like, ah, whatever it is, you know, I'm leaving. And your partner feels like that is not how you deal with problems. That is not how you deal with our issues. And for you, it's like, how do you expect me to deal with our issues if you are not even available to talk? It's like, I have to make an appointment with you just for you to, you know, spare me some time, you know, out of your busy world. And it's like, I'm your, I'm your partner, I'm your wife, I'm your husband, but it's like you don't exist. It's like we have a virtual marriage. So there are a lot of things that you need to nudge your partner about that we just, you know, they're not really that insensitive. They're going to realize it that, uh, you know, it's been a while as well. So both of you will be working out on your sacrifices that you have to make, the time that you need to spare. And you've already had enough money. Come on. And uh, you will be renewing your bonding, your love, your compassion, your passion, and your, you know, the harmony inside of you. And there will be a brand new beginning. Your partner is the one who will be doing some, you know, it's like they would, he, they will be segregating their schedule that, okay, I need to move this meeting, sorry, I need to move this meeting or I need to move this, this business or I can just, you know, uh, give this um, work to this so and so person so that I can have, you know, enough time in my schedule. They're the one who's going to be doing the balancing in their work schedule and their domestic life and I feel like, you know, the harmony is they're the only one who holds the key to return this into your normal family life. Okay? And still, I feel like this is the bottom line that the two of you really belong together. And that they are the ones going to make up for things that they have kind of neglected, okay, in the past. So good for you, Libra. Good for you. Okay? So you don't really have to worry about losing your marriage or your relationship because you are... With the right one you are with the right partner that this thing that you're going through is just a phase that the two of you will definitely surpass all right so anyway that's it for you for now libra and if you want to talk to me live on the phone or live via the calls just go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net blessings to you